Welcome to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Therese, and I have Heather here with me today. Welcome, Heather. Thank you so much for having me. It's always great to have you in the studio. I'm excited. And we were just chatting about fire insurance. Yes. Something that some people don't mm -hmm. really consider and that we were mm -hmm. saying is super, super important, yes. especially in California. So let's hear your thoughts on that. Okay. So fire insurance or just home insurance in general has become kind of a big issue in California. Mm -hmm. All states, State Farm, they are not even underwriting or insuring homeowners in the state of California. And they're wow. two of the biggest. State Farm is the biggest insurance company in America. So it's kind of a big deal. Um, farmers insurance is kind of the last holdout. They are underwriting, but they're only underwriting detached homes. So you, if you have a townhome or a condo, you can't actually get insurance with farmers anymore, wow. right? And the basically the cost of insurance has gone up so much because of our natural disasters, climate change, mm -hmm. all this fun stuff. These big insurance companies have been losing so much money over the years mm -hmm. from the claims, from the landslides, from the fires, right. that they're just like, we can't, we can't do it anymore. So this is coming up with some of my listings, right? Which mm -hmm. is why I care about it. Right. Um, I had one of my listings is a townhome in Del Sur. This is track homes. Mm -hmm. This is not in the middle of Ramona with, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is in like an area that, you know, whatever is still considered risky with fire, mm -hmm. but they were um, actually not able to get insurance and were in escrow, right? I represent the seller uh, because the owner had rented out the property to a renter. The renter had tenant insurance, renter's insurance, mm -hmm. and sh they took out a claim because they lost cell phones not on the property, but somehow that claim is attached to this property. And as a result, not only can he not get insurance with the big biggest insurance companies in America because they moved out of California, but mm -hmm. now there's these tenant claims that have caused issues. So now his cost of getting claim, uh, getting insurance is mm -hmm. gonna be double, triple, quadruple what it normally would be six months right. ago. The other listing I have is in Poway, and it's on one and a half acres in Green Valley. And that one I got a quote, because my farmer's guy said, yeah, I can, I can underwrite it, but it was gonna be twelve to $14,000 a year. So imagine wow. you're like, uh, that's Wait. <laughs> like normally it's like 1,500 to 3,000. Mm -hmm. So what he's, what, what the options are now is basically not to use farmers or state farm or all states, but other uh, insurance companies. And we actually wrote a blog about, you know, which ones you can reach out to like USAA, Costco has a plan, wow. AAA has a plan. Um, and then there's other ones that your insurance carrier will have. And what they do is they use these kind of no-named sort of policies mm -hmm. to do homeowner insurance, and then they supplement it for the fire insurance with what's called California Fair Plan. Okay. California Fair Plan is a state-run plan, but it's funded by these big insurance companies, by all insurance companies that insure in California. The problem with the Fair Plan is that State Farm, all states, farmers are leaving California and they're the ones helping to fund it. Mm -hmm. So the concern for the future is when fair plan runs out, right? what's gonna, what's happen, gonna happen, happen to your property? Mm -hmm. This sounds like something that a lot of listeners are probably gonna wanna learn more about. You said you have a blog, yep. but I, I'm sure if you are interested in learning more about this and you're kind of like, oop, I am concerned, reach out to yes, Heather. Please. You have a wealth of knowledge on this. You also said you have a list of insurance yes. companies they can reach out to. So mm -hmm. if you're in the process of trying to find an insurance company and you're like, wait a minute, this isn't working out, reach out to Heather. She will answer all your questions. Thank you so much for coming in thank today and you. talking about this. Thanks so much. And thank you for watching. Thank you.